The SR-71 today remains this mysterious and enticing aircraft. Which is a superb aerial asset. And the titanium skin would buckle and not return to shape. Over 300 combat hours in CENTCOM, time and time again, just exceptionally professional and proficient at everything they did. Those sorties were flown above and beyond the required 24 aircraft squadron requirements. So it was a very, very high optical. We train hard to be the best, you know, so that we can do the job whenever it's, it's the hardest. Operating aircraft, literally for the Harrier, any climber place, and this squadron did that. They did that uh, in three different geographic combat commands. The next one into the portfolio, the Handley Page Halifax. Four Rolls-Royce Merlin engines like the Lancaster. The RAF realised that they needed a new aircraft. They needed something that would fly further and it would have a bigger bomb load. The Halifax, a four-engine giant of Bomber Command. Flight deck was about 35 feet ahead of the nose wheel. And you wanted to use all the runway. You didn't want to waste runway yeah. in Concorde. You never want to waste runway in any aeroplane as a matter of principle. It's a delightful machine. It's, uh, it's a pilot's aeroplane. Just uh, like a good car ought to be. It's not that big and it's got a great big motor in it, or two great big motors. Yeah, it was good fun. The, uh, the type of thing that you uh, look forward to. Uh, well, the problem was, was how they were flying with their equipment and how they would get out in an emergency. 